Greetings, this is Jeff Riddle, I'm the pastor of Christ Reformed Baptist Church in Louisa, Virginia, and this is an audio version of a book review that I have written. The book under review was written by Jeffrey Thomas, and it's titled Ernest C. Riesinger, A Biography. It was published by the Banner of Truth Trust in 2002, and the book is 262 pages in length. This review is previously unpublished, and so let's move on to the review. This biography is a tribute to Ernest Riesinger, an influential layman and later ordained minister who had a major role in the popular resurgence of Calvinism in the English-speaking world, particularly among Baptists in the United States in the last half of the 20th century. Southern Baptists will be especially interested in this book for the background provided concerning Riesinger's role in the formation of the Southern Baptist Convention's Founders Movement. The author, Jeffrey Thomas, is, interestingly enough, a Welshman. Thomas's ob obvious admiration for Riesinger gives evidence of his influence on both sides of the Atlantic. The existence of this book is also all give also the more timely given Riesinger's death in 2004. Riesinger was born and raised in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, where, as a young man, he built from scratch a very successful construction business. This gave him material wealth, which he later used to fund various Christian ministries. Riesinger was converted as a young man by means of the persistent witness of a co-worker and was delivered from alcoholism. He left the mainline church in which he had been involved and helped to found an evangelical church, the Grace Baptist Church of Carlisle. Later, Riesinger and the church came to embrace the doctrines of grace and to abandon dispensationalism. It became one of the pioneer so-called Reformed Baptist congregations in the United States under the leadership of of Pastor Walter Chantry, Chantry, who also served as the editor of the Banner of Truth magazine. The book also details Riesinger's own call to ordain ministry as a mature man, a move that was opposed by the likes of his friend Martin Lloyd-Jones, who thought Riesinger would serve the kingdom best by remaining a layman. Riesinger eventually became the pastor of North Pompano Baptist Church in Florida, he worked toward the reformation of the Southern this Southern Baptist Church, and from there he came to influence Southern Baptists through his role in the establishment of the Founders Movement and his support of its efforts to reclaim particular Baptist roots. Riesinger was a lover of Christian books and the Puritans in particular. Many Southern Baptist seminarians of my generation received a complimentary copy of J.P. Boyce's Abstract of Systematic Theology through Riesinger's efforts. Reading Thomas's biography will inspire you to develop your own personal Christian literature distribution ministry. Thomas does not make Riesinger out to be a cardboard cutout saint. He deals forthrightly and honestly with some of the various difficulties Riesinger faced in his life, including personal challenges within his family. He describes how Riesinger's son, for example, was disciplined by the Grace Baptist Church after marital infidelity, but that this son later repented and was restored. This episode in itself is a testimony to Riesinger's commitment to the biblical practice of church discipline. Once again, this book is to be commended to those who would like to understand Riesinger's role in the resurgence of Reformed theology in SBC circles. There are a few points where the Welsh author shows some confusion about SBC polity. For example, in describing the cooperative program giving, Thomas erroneously says it is, quote, proportional to the membership role of the congregation, end quote, page 203. Still, these flaws can be easily overlooked. This book would also be good reading for influential laymen on how they might use accumulated wealth and stewardship to the kingdom and also how they might become lay theologians in their own right. And here ends the review. You can receive audiobook reviews and notes like this one 
Word Magazine podcasts and sermons by subscribing to Christ Reformed Baptist Church's sermon audio feed on iTunes by searching for Christ Reformed Baptist Church. For video material, you can subscribe to the Word Magazine channel on YouTube. You can also find written book reviews, notes, and articles on my blog at jeffriddle.net. And you can follow me on Twitter at Riddle1689.